What do you focus on in ordinary life? Heaven Letter Number 5771 September 12, 2016 Look for my happiness, beloveds. This will keep you out of traps you set for yourself. You know by now that you don't much succeed in changing or improving anyone else directly. Your intentions may be all good, and, yes, it is good to follow your intention to make life better for someone else, yet you may have to do this by biting your tongue. You may think, oh, no, I am not supposed to inhibit myself. If I am annoyed, aren't I supposed to be honest and forthright and not to deny my self-expression? Come from a higher intention than relief from your own impatience. Honesty is not an excuse for expressing irritation. Come from your higher self. You have a higher self. It doesn't work, your constant attempt to improve someone else. Pointing out someone's faults hasn't succeeded in battening them down. Someone's annoyances may become a subject that preoccupies you. It isn't that your life is supposed to consist of your biting your tongue any more than your life is meant to consist of full-fledged annoyance either. Yes, turn your attention around. Find another way. Nagging, no matter how well-based, doesn't move life forward. Nagging isn't even a stepping stone. You may envy people who seem to love under conditions in which you seem unable to. What happened to loving? Where did it go? Under which pile did you put away love? Perhaps dig through the clutter of your annoyances and find the hidden love. Dust it off. Really, this is not an attempt to plug your heart. This is an attempt to make your love noteworthy again, to bring your love back to earth again, and to plow your fields with love. Everyone welcomes love. No one welcomes what amounts to harping on the same subject and getting nowhere. You are not at an impasse unless you say so. Upon what is your stubborn hold based? What is all your annoyance about? What is really bothering you? What are you bringing out, and what would you prefer to bring out? Do not think that I am piling blame on you. I am desirous of helping you find another way that may actually serve you. I am not desirous of your switching your negative annoyances from your husband to yourself. Somewhere somehow you were raised to emphasize fault-finding. You have perhaps raised fault-finding as your major purpose in life. Indeed, you have become expert in that which you cannot tolerate. What is tolerable to you, beloveds? Perhaps you can veer your attention in another direction. No longer star in annoyance. Find greater happiness for yourself and uplift your life as you live it. Your life is yours. Your life is not someone else's life. Someone else's life is not your life. Remove annoyances from your life. Balance your life. What does your life depend on? What is life and death in your life? Is everything momentous and equally important to you? When you are out of patience with someone, more is going on with you than annoyance. Refocus. If you want to be more satisfied in life than you presently are, where do you begin? When, in life, you are left out in the cold, no enough to come in out of the cold. When you have been out too long in the bright sun and your skin is beginning to burn, you find shade under a tree, or you put on a sun hat, or you jump in a pond. You have other resources than to keep complaining about sunburn. Be more creative. Shine some light on yourself, beloveds. On yourself. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org